I really like these more so than I thought I would, but I just don't like when you take out the shoe inside. And I'm talking about the Nike and Clock design Cortezes. They've designed them in this really interesting way. I feel like I've seen a lot more of these designs of these kind of like um, shoe protector, these shoe rain jacket type things that are really awful. I feel like I feel like they're the kind of thing that only white people and Asian people would wear. It's kind of weird, you know, um, it's kind of like earmuffs. Who else you see wearing earmuffs? You see white guys and you see Asian people that love earmuffs, right? My ears are cold. I need to have specific things to cover just my ears. They're not doing like the rest of us and putting a collar up or putting your hat over your ears or just toughing it out. They need particular things. So I feel like these little kind of shoe jackets or shoe duffel bags or like little things, they're kind of things that you would expect those people from those communities to wear. And, you know, thinking that this is a club collaboration makes a lot of sense. But I still like the fact that it's a Cortez. So if you're not looking at it, it's just a what you'd, what you'd imagine a regular Nike Cortez is. But essentially, the half of the Cortez is made up of this kind of weird neoprene type fabric with a drawstring at the top. It kind of reminds me a little bit of an Air Mock as well, a little bit. Remember the Air Mocks? They were kind of like this potato type inspired looking shoe that was an ACG shoe that you could kind of slip your foot in and out of. And that was people used it for hiking and for, you know, being in the water and whatnot. And it was made out of really cool, breathable materials and just easy to wear. I remember having a few pairs of them I used to wear myself personally. And it kind of reminds you of that because I remember on those ones, it didn't have a, there's no lace system, you just kind of slip your foot in. But on some, they have like a little string that you kind of pull on the back to kind of make the sock section a bit tighter and to kind of stop things from going into your foot if you need be. So they've got that whole thing going on. I also like the fact that the, the contrasting stitch, I'm mean, sorry, contrasting colors on the swoosh here, that little detail is very nice. So on the neoprene side, there's like a white half swoosh and on the shoe on the inside is a black swoosh so when you wear them together you've got a half white half black swoosh there that's very nice maybe it's a yin yang type of thing i'm assuming um continuing on you got another picture here showing the upper of the cortez and then the bottom of it it felt like there was a real effort to bring the cortez back but it didn't feel like nike really pressed the button i feel like there was that one from union and a few others but it didn't feel like they really pressed the button to go okay let's turn this thing on have they even collaborated with yg i'm just thinking about it just out loud have they collaborated with YG? I thought YG would be an excellent person to collaborate on Nike Cortez with, considering his history and considering what he does with his own brand of those flipping, um, what you call it, of, of those bootleg Cortez that he put out. I thought that'd be a good person to kind of promote them, or maybe even Kendrick Lamar. He's seen wearing them a few times. But anyway, regardless, um, they seemed like there was a moment they were trying to bring them back, but it didn't really go forward with it. Maybe because of the success of the dunk, they put the Cortez stuff back a little bit. But I thought there was going to be a Cortez moment where they were trying to try and full cross, full court press, make the Cortez thing happen. But I don't think they can because I just think in general, it's a, such a Marmite shoe. Even though it's one of Nike's older models out there on the market right now, it's still a model that people just don't really get behind too tough. I don't really sure why personally, because I do think they're probably the least, least offensive shoe out there. But here's what it is. It continues here. We've got another picture here showing the two shoes from the top down the lacing again the lacing man i don't know why people lace their shoes like this when you're doing i know this is a leak and it's not an official picture image or whatnot but the lacing that comes out from the factories is just terrible isn't it so garbage we continue again here another picture showing the draw show yes it is a yin yang thing showing the pull tab there where you kind of you know secure the shoe on the top and then you've got another shoe option showing the shoe as it popped out of the sock so whatever sock okay so you can wear it three ways i'm assuming or two ways sorry you can wear it on the left like that really thin it kind of reminds me of a lonsdale so i'm not really a fan of that that kind of really thin boxing shoe type of thing and then you've got also this kind of uh ballet shoe so essentially like a nike pump so you're gonna see guys walking around looking like you know lolitas or thinking in their head they look like samurais but they actually look like lolitas and then you've got another model here also that's got another shoe with no real fastening i'm not sure how you meant to wear that bit but it's basically like an insole with a heel cup on the back i'm not too sure how that works out but regardless it's like a three in one type of shoe type of vibe and yeah the bottom of the soles look interesting you've got the clock design there on the bottom there and then of course on the other shoe you've got the boxing type tire tread overs there as well and then you've got the signs there on the back of each shoe also going on it and then you obviously got some okay so it's a tai chi meant to be a tai chi thing so i guess you meant to take the bottom shoe off to do tai chi in the park 
and then you're meant to take the other one on to work out and i think it says what well, it spells letters right it says k-e-o-t kiot so it looks like it's got these illustrations of people doing tai chi on the inside of the box so i'm assuming there's some sort of tai chi crossover with these it kind of reminds you of acronym when acronym were getting into doing ufc mma jiu-jitsu stuff because i think the founder is balls deep into mma jiu-jitsu muay thai or something along those kind of lines and they had people wearing the flipping acronym doing flipping kicks and stuff and spinning kicks and it's so cringe personally for me i think all that stuff is super cringe when they start designing like jiu-jitsu merch or like fighting gear it's up there with designing merch for like lamborghinis where you don't drive one like most of your customers can't afford a lamborghini but here you are making flipping mercedes a lamborghini merch like a portion merch it's like come on man relax all this fighting merch as well it's like no none of you guys are fighting most of you guys are flipping you know ordering you know 33 door dashes per day and whatnot um, going to flipping influencer marketing meetings hanging out at paris fashion week in showrooms you're not fighting anybody so it's a little bit redacted in my personal opinion and of course they've got a beer brick also matching with that's gonna be going for money next to a uh is that bobby hundreds no the hundreds adam bomb thing is adam bomb flipping trendy now i remember when adam bomb logo came about that was that was when i kind of jumped off of hundreds i think hundreds got really corny as soon as they started incorporating the adam bomb top type logo because if i remember correctly he designed it and asked people to name name it and you know, to, you know it's a competition type vibe which is like oh, i can't do this man they've got a fucking mascot for the brand but again this was successful still doing their thing so big up bobby big up ben hundreds over there doing their thing but yeah these clutch shoes are interesting not personally for me um because like i said that inside shoe it looks like a lonsdale um you know anti you know asbo type shoe the kind of thing that i remember people in my area who didn't like black people would wear and chase you down the street for and they're meant to be coming out in spring 2023 they're priced 150 dollars so not too much money is there so pretty much a bit of a bargain if you're into it but for me no mass for me absolutely no mass i cannot see myself wearing these in the slides they look absolutely horrible personally but again you know who am i to judge when it comes to these things who am i to judge 